Cape Town for the second consecutive year hosts a Vodacom United Rugby Championship semi-final. The defending champions, the DHL Stormers, hosting Connacht of Ireland. Three Well, it goes straight to penalty and straight in front of the post. Work to keep it bigger. And 100 points in this year's URC. All of them off the boot. No tries for the Connor captain. And even with the windy conditions, just about as easy a kick as you could get. And Finley Bielam waits. Onside. Looking to pick his moment. Makes a meter or two before being driven back in the tackle. Blade. Looks to the open side now, over the top from Carty, awkward ball in the wind, and Hansen! Time off. Well, the Connacht flags are waving in the stands. Mac Hansen is certain that he has got in for his fifth try of the campaign. Well, what a start from Connacht and a great pass all the way out to Hansen. What he does well here, he does a stop and yeah. start here. Yeah. Initially, I thought they could have gone slightly early there. Just holds up the defender and off he goes for the corner. He scored a stunning try, the first try of the game in the match in Stellenbosch between these two. Zas, Yankees, Dixon inside for his captain Kitsov. Pick up from Evan Ruas. Prendergast. And then Lebok with the cross kick for Davids. <laughs> Wonderful response from the home side and Angelo Davids for a sixth time. Crosses the try line for the DHL Stormers. Seven out of seven from the kicking tee last weekend in the quarter final. A different proposition here today and that ball wobbled on the tee as he was about to kick it but still made a pure strike yeah, and Moni Lebok, yeah, two big men inside and outside him but Angelo Davids keeping the width, maintaining the width, staying patient and finishing strongly Zas for Willemse and it's uh, Leland Zas who will give chase to the hoist from his full back ball lost and then played in front of the ball to take the lead. Now Hurley Langton trying to build a little bit of momentum. It's gone through nine phases without really advancing now. Then the kick through from Carty and a lot of space for Marnie Libok to cover. Does really well and goes through the gap as well. Turns O'Halloran. Lubbock after his own kick. And no option but to clear from Tiernan. O'Halloran quickly taken by Dan Duplessis for Willemsa. And Duplessis is away looking to his inside for Yankees. And then it's Marnie Lubbock with a magical score. Magic, absolute magic from the Stormers, from Connor. Stormers deciding to play, he sells it, and they buy it. Moni Lebok. Okay. What's impressive here, Matthew, is the chase afterwards. Dan Duplessis is very, very quick, especially off the mark. The linking player back to Moni Lebok, and over he goes. Front ball for Ruben van Heerden. And then out the back from Willi Engelbrecht. Jankis and Davids slicing his way through. Stays strong in the tackle and Lubbock gets a second. Well, it was a nervy start from the Stormers and a nervy start from that man, Marnie Lubbock. But my goodness, has he come good in a hurry. Second try for him. And a third well, this for is the a Stormers. Classic example, yeah. Great start to move, great line out. A little bit delayed. But Angelo Davids 
Talk about running to score. I thought he was going to look for the pass here. Said no way. Bang. Or Halloran, he sits him down. Then gets it off to Mani Lobok again. Not one rack created. Great execution from the Stormers. And that try has taken Mani Lobok beyond the 200 point mark for the campaign. He was the leading point scorer in the inaugural Vodacom URC last season. And comfortably in front on the table again this year. Started today with 185 points for the campaign. He's now got 17 in this game with a kick to come. As if there was no wind at all over the center of the crossbar. Behind. Away by Prendergast. It took a while to come to his feet and slicing into the line comes Farrell. Dan Duplessis back to make the tackle, but the storm is under pressure here. Away for Bandiaki. Trying to release his hands in contact. But an excellent tackle it was from Lubbock. Up by Blade for Hurley Langton. Penalty advantage for Connacht. Played again and Buckley to his inside. And over they go. Such an important score for Connacht just yeah. before half time. It's Connor I don't see that Oliver, again. I think it is. Yeah, Connor Oliver who got the ball down. Some excellent work from Dennis Buckley. Connacht coming right through. An excellent hand. Was that Buckley that made? But an important try on the stroke of half time, keeping Connacht in it. Half time in Cape Town. The DHL Storm is 24, Connacht 13. Good read from Nell. And here is Willemsa after an excellent pass from Yankees. Willemsa staying up in contact. And Zas with Nell to his left. Pops it up for Yankees. Running onto it is Engelbrecht. Good grab from Frahirden. Dweba and Yankees. And Willemsa. Just a little obstruction in there. Had that gone to hand, <laughs> could have been one of the most outrageous tries ever. Definitely, you can see the frustration there in John Dobson. The Stormers will probably feel. Blade, a little pot of forwards away to his left. And a little pop for Murphy, it didn't look as though he was expecting that ball at all. Then work towards the line. Try scored. Connacht right back in the semi final. Hilly Langton gets it. So close. Burrows right underneath there on the line. The try given. And it's game one now. All of a sudden, a 16 point deficit has become a six point deficit which has become a four-point deficit. Still just over a quarter of the game to go, and the Connacht flags are waving in Cape Town once again. Well, hanging in just long enough to, to get a penalty advantage at the scrum. Strong carry from Nietzsche for sure. Prendergast. Trying to get in over the ball away by Duplessis and Nell. Zas to his outside, and here goes Leal and Zas. Paul De Vitt to his inside. De Vitt will go in under the post. They had a penalty advantage, they played from deep. And shortly after making his arrival, Paul De Vitt gets his second try of the campaign. That's a classic inside support line from the scrum of the Stormers, realizing their space out wide. Ruan Nell does well, he sucks in two defenders, lets it go. Zas in space, like any good scrum off, right up the middle, that classic support line. How good has he been the last two games? Untouchable last weekend, had a good game again. He teed up for some beautiful tries. 
advantage, seven second number eight. Seven second the lifter. So there's a penalty advantage here for Connacht. Popped on by Aki for Farrell. Beautiful hands from Ralston. And Ralston will go to the corner now. Tom Daly in the build-up, Byron Ralston with the finish. And Daly will go to take this conversion as quickly as he can. Debut season in the URC and Byron Ralston has his second try. Yeah, just that little offload, I think, was it Tom Farrell that got it off to Ralston. But that little offload, that connection, that combination with Bundy and Lockers. Now the kick from Porch. Nibok. Again goes to the boot this time no real chase but that's a, a horror of a mistake from Daly and Diamani looking for the offload and over they go that surely is it now for the DHL Stormers Marcel Tiernison replacement loose forward Gets over for a fifth Stormers try. Ironically, the kick was not a great one. There was no effective chase line from the Stormers, but Tom Daly, with no pressure on him, lost it forward, and Hachiba Diamani quick to pounce. There are no pressure whatsoever. This is an easy take off the chest here, and the players realize they don't want to concede a penalty, but Hachiba Diamani. Just the awareness there to keep the ball alive. Tennyson poaches it, gets the try. Jean-Luc Duplessis. No! Carry from Connor Evans. And Libok with a little change of direction, looking for Hachiba Diamani. Out and... Oh, that's an outrageous pass! Oh, Ruanel goes in. And smiles for days. That is just extraordinary. Well, what a way to finish. That was a set move from the Stormers playing the line out. Damani stands out wide. Do the switch back, kick it over, score the try. With a little bit of spice from Achiba Damani also. The back pass, the coaching staff is with the crowd leader this. The crowd leader that try, Achiba Damani. Here he goes. The sixth sense from Achiba Daman. He, he couldn't see him, but he knew he was there. It's funny, you know, we, we see Achiba Daimani in the wider channel so often on attack. It hasn't been that kind of game. The game is done. One last kick from Marnie Libok. And fittingly, he raises the flags once again. It was Connacht who came here bravely of an epic win in Belfast and ran out into an early eight-point lead. Then a 24-point blitz from the DHL Stormers to take it to 24-8. It looks comfortable on the scoreboard in the end, but it was anything but. It took a massive defensive effort as much as the tries. It's the DHL Stormers into a second consecutive Vodacom URC final. Full-time in Cape Town, Stormers 43, Connacht 25.